Hey guys, good morning. Um, so today I'm planning to to clean these posts from the battery. I've been meaning to get a new battery lately because it's not the best battery. I've been having some starting issues. It's probably not the battery, it's probably just the post itself that are starting to accumulate with, um, with acid. So I'm gonna clean those out and then I haven't cleaned my my filter, my air filter, in about a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. I ordered some um, quick release bumper pins for the car. Uh, last year when I cleaned it, I was rushing it because I was going to the racetrack. And I did the cleaning by taking out the headlight, but since I was rushing myself and kind of squeezing items here and there I managed to break this off so for me not to have the I mean I have the time now but for future reference I prefer taking off the bumper so I won't have to struggle um, so and the reason I got them too is because I prefer having this flush too so I'm gonna have it nice and tucked in in the line um, and then I'll probably go to Junkyard too. I've been meaning to get a, a horn for it because when I beep at people, especially my buddies, um, they, they tend to laugh of the, the dinky horn that it has. It, it just sounds really, really high pitched and kind of like a smart car type of pitch, I would say. Really tiny, more like a motorbike. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna take off the bumper and then uh, see what I know I'm gonna use sandpaper so I'm gonna try to see if I could find like a wire brush small tiny wire brush too so I could start cleaning those I was going through my glove box so I could show you guys my racetrack um, is a quarter mile but that night that I went it was a no prep no prep night and eighth of a mile was I did various times one pass was 10.9 for an eighth. And at some point I started mastering the, the track itself and considering that's eighth of a mile. Didn't have speed traps for quarter miles yet because there was no prep so it did an eighth of a mile. So 10.98 at 61 and then I managed to have a good launch on on my original stock wheels at 7.5 and then I did another pass I got more more stuff in, in the house 11.9 so my best pass on the eighth of a mile was the 7.5 that night I think I have more more track tickets um, I just gotta look for them inside the house because I have them stored but these I had to lay around the the car itself May 13th of last year. I moved the wheel towards the passenger side because uh, I didn't have any clearance to put a wrench or a socket. It's pretty interesting. I'm pretty still in shock of how much profile I don't have on, or how much of a gap I don't have anymore. I, I can't stick in two fingers in here at all. I know I said that the ride feel on the car wasn't that great but after i went out uh, last week at night and drove it around for about an hour and actually i think i'm starting to break it in as as a uh, falsely of a statement it sounds i would say um it's starting to, i'm starting to feel the road more on the car and i'm not sure it's because i'm starting to break in the springs itself but i'm sure as soon as uh, I start using the car more and more and more, because I really don't use the car, I, I'm gonna start to feel the road a little bit more. But I was, I was extremely surprised I'm starting to feel the road on, on the car itself. Uh, at first it started, it, it felt the same, but now it's starting to feel like I'm feeling the road, which which is more of a go-kart feel. So when I said in the last video that it feels like, I got like a 15%, um, like real go-kart feel 
from stock to the TN suspension, it actually jumped to, in my personal opinion, jumped to like a 30% go-kart feel now, more of a go-kart feel. So uh, it's, it's starting to get there. Um, I'm liking it so far. So I'm pretty impressed of how the suspension is turning out at the moment. So I took off the driver's side bolt and the passenger side bolt. I moved the steering wheel again so I could have clearance to take out this, this bolt right here and basically start snapping down. And then I'm gonna take off this Phillips screw and this Phillips, this Phillips screw. And then on my case, I need to take out that Phillips screw too, since I have the billy grill. Next, I'm gonna take off these plastic, these plastic clips right here. Seems like only has two, which will be one that I just took off. And then this one right here. Basically what you do is just Grab a flathead screwdriver and then pop. It has an insert in which you just pop this, this clip down, and then as soon as you do, the whole thing comes out. And then after that, it has another bolt right there. Yeah, that's how much I don't use a car. It's only like once a week, and this weekend it seems like I'm not going to use it because I got to do cleaning and family stuff. But, anyways. Um, then that bolt too, and then I believe also I forgot to take one bolt out right here. This one right here, I believe I need to take out. Maybe I don't, um, I really don't know yet, but we'll see as soon as um, I start taking it out. I got a clip right here too, and I'm gonna do the same thing on, on this side. So I pulled on the bumper. And yes, I gotta take out this bolt right here. I thought it was just part of the the side screw right here, but no, it's part of the um, the uh, the wheel guard. So I did the same thing on the driver's side. So now I'm going to take out this bolt right, the bulb for the fog light. It came out, and I do the same thing. On this side, it took a little bit of persuasion, but took it out. Okay, so all the bolts are out. Now you could just slide it out. If you have a nice paint job, be careful with it. If not, I don't have the greatest paint job. What I'm planning to do, though, is I used to have a billet grill right here, and it it broke off had bad um, bad screws on them to the point in which I rested the paint. So what I'm planning to do for today and tomorrow, I'll probably just prime it for today, but I do plan to paint it kind of the metallic brown black that I have going on over here. It's gonna be a little, a little bit more cleaner. And then this chingasso goes over here. So that's a filter right there. I seen some guys from Puerto Rico uh, put like a special plate for the air to be access on the intake that goes right here. Um, personal thoughts on that. As a daily driver, I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, maybe they have some type of cover from the access hole to vent in, vent in some air. They probably put the cover there and then the plate, and then once they plan the race on the weekends, they probably take off the plate and then and then put in the ventilation cover on it. That's probably the, what they do. Who knows? Maybe they just run it like that all the whole as a daily driver, but I wouldn't recommend it. People don't even recommend having these cold air intakes on on a wet uh, wet city if you live in a wet city. But that's the reason some people have that short ram. But fortunately, in my case, I live in the desert, so I don't have to worry about that, even if I did, did daily drive it. Um, but what we're going to do is going to take this off, and then we're going to clean it. 
I got some leftover Canon cleaner that I had uh, from last year, so we're gonna use that and an old toothbrush that I also used from last year. On all the cars I've owned, I'd never, ever, ever, ever used windshield wiper fluid at all. Considering that I'm using this car as a race car, I am gonna take it out. I'm gonna leave this sensor though. I mean, it's, I, I'm gonna unplug it, but then I'm gonna, I'm not sure if it will trigger a check engine light or not, or maybe, or at least, I mean, it's it doesn't have anything at all, so. Um, it, I guess it would have triggered a light for winter wiper fluid by now, so I don't think it works. So what I'm going to do is just leave this unplugged for now, and if it triggers a light, I'm going to put it back on. Just, just the, uh, just this thing right here, and I'm just going to simply unbolt it here and here. Um, that's what I'm going to do. The other thing is the reason why. The driver's side side uh, bumper was falling off was because it's this bracket right here has two bolts one two it has these like uh, how should I explain it these pins are poking on through that actually expand to the frame itself so it could be nice and snug once you put in the screws on the driver's side it doesn't have that I was trying to find this so I could explain it to you guys but I couldn't find it so now I did but those these it's supposed to have you see this clip right here it's supposed to be wrapped all the way around the screw right here same thing with this side and that's the reason why it was wiggling Cause it's supposed to be sticking out all the way around so you get to be nice and snug and when I was doing the cold air intake cleaning last year it was just wandering all over the place and the only thing I was holding it in was basically everything else except this side that's why it was hanging a little bit and of course the, the bolt that goes right here um, so I'm gonna go to East Hardware in a little bit and then I'm gonna put it back in here but what I'm thinking is actually maybe getting a little bit more longer screws uh, bolts and then run some washers and then uh, well big enough washers snug through through here and grab on and then put some nuts on there so it could be nice and snug and then um, I kind of like the look of the of the trending um, bumper quick release things. Um, so I'll probably do that and actually not put in this bolt right here once I get it. It's in, I ordered it yesterday, so it should be on its way. So I should be receiving it Monday or Tuesday and I'll post a video about that too. So you can see it's really dirty. I, I need to invest in getting a new one. Uh, I probably don't need a new one the only reason I want to get a new one is because it's already dented. I probably dented it when I was putting back the, mu the bumper last year. But it's pretty clean inside, I can tell you that. I'm pretty surprised. I mean, it's still glowing. It's glowing clean from the bottom end. Bottom end and it's like freaking dirty from the outside. So you can tell how, how good of a filter this is made by engine. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my kit and see if I can start cleaning it.